Welcome to Fret Knot. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the High Gain series. Yes. <laughs> My wife is going to kill me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to watch she, it happen. She's like, how much did that one cost? I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> it was uh, entry level. Okay. So, um, hopefully you've been around this channel for a little bit, and I'll have to explain everything. Uh, my name is Rob, this is Colton, and we do uh, a bunch of different series on this channel, but this series we're in right now is called the High Gain Series, and these are all custom handmade guitars from the best luthiers around the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, we bring them to you, we pay for them out of pocket, nobody gives us nothing, and we do a deep dive review on them, and then we get to keep the guitar. But hey, it gives you guys a chance to see um, what some of these guitars are, what the process is, everything it took to get it, uh, how long you have to wait, what you end up getting for your money, mm -hmm. and a, just a deep dive on everything involved. So tonight, we have... The Meat Hans. Meat Hans Berlin, and it is in cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. And if you saw the... Um, thumbnail to this uh should gibson be worried i think so so i've played a lot of les pauls in my life i've owned quite a few customs deluxes can't say really a whole bunch bad about them other than they're heavy and the g-string never stays in tune yep i kind of wanted one after buying all these guitars and i wanted another les paul body and i've been searching for months trying to figure out who to go to who i felt like would probably be the best bang for the buck and i ran across this gentleman and i uh, believe he's in so slovenia and uh super cool um he happened to have quite a few a few of them in stock uh, he's a one-man show mm -hmm. and because he does so much these <coughs> guitars uh we're gonna get right into the specs and i'm gonna bring out my cheat sheet yes we need a cheat sheet there's for no it. way i would remember all this stuff if you saw the start of the video that's the actual unboxing everything that you saw comes with the guitar um, a lot in the case, he didn't tell me anything about that. That's just the way he ships his guitar. So kudos, amazing work on yeah, that. It's really cool. Okay. So it is a solid body set, set in neck, uh, one piece neck and it is the body is chambered. This is very light it for a Les Paul. Super light for a Les Paul Super style. light for Les Paul. Um, he, their neck is reinforced, uh, with carbon rods. It has two carbon rods in it. Uh, I told you the color is cobalt blue. It's a 2475 uh, scale, 12 uh, degree radius on the fretboard. Um, but his headstock angle is a little different than Gibson. It's only 10 degrees. And I believe that has a lot to do with the playability and how well this guitar reacts when you play it. Um, so the wood, the top is a 5A master grade flame maple. Um, the body on the back is an American walnut. Um, the neck is the same 5A grade flamed maple. And the fingerboard is African ebony. It's the same thing that's on my, I think, same kind of thing that's on my high-end wood library PRS. Mm -hmm. Amazing fretboards. Um, the covers on the back on the electronics are uh, American walnut. And the pickup rings, most people don't realize this about this company. Those are wood. Mm -hmm. They're not plastic, and yep. he cuts them out. Those are actual maple. Yeah, so really cool. another deal that's just super cool. Of course, we have uh, stainless steel medium jumbo frets. Uh, we have uh, 23 frets on this because this is a zero fret guitar. Um, different people think different things about a zero fret, but one of the things I've found on a zero fret is you have a lot less fret buzz and I enjoy that. That's that's great with me. Um, the nut is a Tusk nut, Graph Tech. Um, the inlays are mother of pearl and the side dots, you may not be able to see it in this, but the side dots are brass with wood inlays. It's yeah. amazing it's like little brass rings and then he drives like a little wedge of wood inside that ring to create so a dot basically That's it's beautiful. really cool mm -hmm. so the body has a urethane high gloss finish the neck has the same high gloss finish and the binding is natural flame maple uh as far as the electronics for this guitar it uh, they're both hand wound das paf 59 pickups 
Um, and I was a little concerned at first and, uh, I, I love PAFs, but only for certain types of music. And we play a heavier style. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what, man, these things are boss. Yeah. They, uh, they are really nice. They will chug with the best of them. Uh, you got a volume, a volume tone and a three way switch. Uh, you have a Goto 510 locking tuners up top. And one of the reasons I bought this that drew me to this company is this actually has a Goto wraparound bridge instead of the, the normal where you had the bridge and then the strings go back. Mm -hmm. If you do a lot of palm mutes, that is amazing for yeah. this style of guitar. You don't have that other deal where you, it's weird to put your hand on it. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. And then uh, just so you know, this one comes with Ernie Ball 1052s. Uh, I did have him put this in drop C tuning from the factory. Man, does it play good. Yeah, it handles drop C really nice. So what we're going to do right now, we've given you all these specs. There's going to be some stuff I want you to see on this guitar. Um, in the links, we're going to have a video that he, that comes from his website. And it's, it's, it's an hour long, guys. It is what it is. But it is every step that he does to build these guitars. And if you don't know nothing about building guitars, or if you've been building guitars for 100 years... You need to check that what the way he builds these. I, I deal with uh, high end luthiers every day, and I'm stupid impressed. But what by what he goes through to get these guitars to this point? Yeah, I'm telling you, click that link. Watch how how he makes these guitars. Every little intricate detail. It's amazing from start to finish, from choosing the wood to staining it to cutting it to everything to the very end result. It's it's worth the watch. So uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to shut up and let you hear this in a mix. We're going to come back. We're going to talk price point, playability, uh, fit and finish, what we feel about the guitar, and is it worth the money. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, you got a chance to hear it in a mix. Um, mm -hmm. We put something together for you so you could hear it. Uh, hands down, I own 16 guitars from some of the best luthiers on this planet. And I have been jonesing for a Les Paul body because I have all super strats. And I hadn't played a Les Paul in years. I sold them years ago. I got tired of messing with Gibson. Long story short, I don't think there's ever been a day when I've been happier than when I opened the case to this guitar because it really, and that's just me personally, but man, it really brought back a lot of good emotion for having a real high-end Les Paul style guitar. And I'm telling you what, Gibson, if you're watching, you better get on it, brother, because he's on your tail. This is, this is as good, if not better, than any Les Paul I've ever owned, and I've had some really high-end, you know, spec ones. Um, and it's half the weight yeah i was gonna make that a <laughs> strong point um it it doesn't feel like you're carrying around you know a car around your shoulders <laughs> it's it's super lightweight i think i still have back problems right. man from <laughs> pretty pretty jumping thin. around on stage with a 12 14 pound less ball yeah that's the thing's nice and take note he makes me play the explorers <laughs> and then we get something like this and he's like oh i gotta do it i gotta play it <laughs> okay Whatever. 
So I ran across this guy, uh, not by accident, because I constantly search for stuff, but I ran across this guy on the internet, man. I messaged him. We went back and forth on a bunch of different stuff. I had no clue who he was, but hey, we've bought all these other high-end guitars. I went and did, read some reviews on him. Um, I don't know how well he's known in America, but I promise you the people around him know who he is. But uh, long story short, I could not, absolutely could not be happier with this transaction and the, and what we received for our money. We had all kinds of little hiccups going on. <laughs> uh, he mailed it to us and uh, it comes from Slovenia and it just disappeared on tracking for three or four days, had nothing to do with him. And then it popped up in New York and then Customs got it and Customs cleared it immediately and USPS lost it for three days. <laughs> Classic. And then it just showed up. And I was like, this is amazing. But he was with me every step of the way. Um, could not be happier with this product. And I uh, promise you, there's been a few of these companies, Ashwood, Reichart, LaCello. Now, we own we own Hapus. We own Mayonez. We own Scar Basin, uh, Ormsby. Um, but Reichart, LaCello, and Ashwood were, were probably the three companies that I would have went back to blindly and sent money to to order my second one, which I did order two from We ordered two yep. from LaCello. Um, but I promise you, this guy will get my money on my next purchase. Um, video is not going to show you the intricacies of this guitar, uh, but if you go watch that, even I'm going to put a link to his website. If you don't watch that, if you don't want to watch the build process, go and look at his site. There's demo videos on there. Um, look at everything that he has in stock. <clears throat> he does a bunch of different stuff. And you can tell, if you watch that video on him building, you can tell how much passion he puts in every one of these guitars. And hey, that's a, that's a $4,400 mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. <laughs> It is boss. It's amazing. But before I give mayonnaise, mayonnaise, any more money, before I give Scarvesa any more money, before I give Wormsby any more money, even though I bought those at the start and they are rock solid, I just feel like these, Reichardt, Lucello, Ashwood, they got more soul. Mm -hmm. When one person builds that thing for you and he's responsible for everything, Man, it just it to me it makes a difference, or maybe it don't. Maybe I'm just freaking weird, and it makes a difference to me. Well, I mean, I'll I'll loop back to to that to the link. Which, by the way, we don't get anything for you clicking that link. This is just for yeah, your. Yeah, just watch the video on how he builds for your nothing. information. And I want again to circle back to the weight, and that's because it's chambered. Yeah, correct. It's it's a chambered yes. body, and if you don't know what that means, then watch that video, and you'll see what it means to have a chambered body and the process of chambering a body. And and the res the end result is a super lightweight guitar, and it's it's amazing. So we've drug this out to the end. We paid about twenty six hundred dollars for this guitar. Now it's uh, kind of the first of August of twenty twenty four, depending on when you're watching this. He does have a special running through the end of the month. He's got a ten percent off on in stock guitars, I believe. I don't know if it applies to build guitars, um, but. Even if you cannot buy one of these guitars, go to this guy's website, man, and check out what he does. If it's just for informational purposes, because I promise you this, this guy sets the bar, along with a few others of these, that you ought to expect other companies to raise up to mm -hmm. when it comes to buying a guitar. <clears throat> I don't know how many times we've spent a lot of money on a guitar and you get it. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just kind of, eh. Yeah, it's lacking mojo. It's lacking soul. So um, we don't get a penny. We bought this out of our pocket. We didn't get it. Well, we did get a discount because it gave us 10% because it's August. I forgot. I didn't even know about that when I ordered it. I was just like, how much is it? <laughs> Whatever. So long story short, uh, we don't get nothing out of this deal. But if you don't know who this guy is and you don't know who this company is, man, uh, you might want to go check them out. And if you're out there, the big G, you might need to get on your horse, brother, because he's coming for you. Uh, he probably can't make them as fast as you can, but I guarantee you, it's been a long time since I've owned a Les Paul. I've had three or four high ends, 50s, 60s, reissues, and um, I loved them. I used them in the studio to track with. But, you know, you get on stage and do a 45-minute show, and you jump around with that 12, 14 pounds around your neck, mm -hmm. and we jumped around. 
that'll beat you to death. And of course, you're always tuning in between every song because G string ain't gonna stay right. <laughs> There's just no way around. But this is another animal. Yeah. And uh, I'm just so happy we found him. And that's what's been great about this series is we've met some of the greatest luthiers on this planet. And most people don't even know who they are. Yep. They're that's just cool. sleeping on them. So, say it. Is it Mita? Mitons. I know. It's Mita Mitons. Mita Mitons. Mita Mitons. And if I pronounce that wrong and you see this, please don't kill me. I'm trying here. Yeah, we're so, trying <laughs> our best. <laughs> Go check these people out. We're in about 2670 on this thing to get it to the United States. And, oh my God, is it worth it. Um, it is by far my favorite, you know, single cut I've had in probably, well, ever. Because the rest of them, I, I, I did have a lot of joy when I first got them. But after I learned <laughs> about their idiosyncrasies, mm. maybe not quite as much. So, all right, guys. So, thanks so much for being with us on the High Gain Series, Ben. Uh, we're in the process. We're searching every day. We look for this type of deal here to try to find these for you. Um, because everybody can't buy these. And at least we're trying to bring this into your living room, on your phone, your tablet, whatever. So, you get a little bit of knowledge about this. And, hey, we get almost said cuss word. We get fantastic guitar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And hey, listen, if uh, you, this is a little out of your price point, man, go back out to our channel, man. There's something called the Entry Level Metal Series. Uh, we have tons of guitars in there. We do reviews on, and there's four in there right now that we have. You can go in there and watch the video, and there's instructions on instructions how to win them. We give them away free. Mm -hmm. So uh, if this is a little out of your price point, make sure you go over there and check that out. There's 12 or 13 more of this type of story on the uh, High Gain series in that playlist. Make sure you go watch that. And we also have the Meet Your Maker series, which yep. we've been slacking. we got a bunch of them out there that are lined up where we do a little documentary, a little 30-minute, 20-minute with the builder, and you actually get to sit down and meet him. Uh, we get to ask him some questions, and you get to see him face-to-face -face on video so you know where your money's going when you send your money out to the Ether and say, build me a guitar. Yeah, we got one with Reichardt on there right now, and uh, it's definitely worth the rock. And the if watch. you don't know anything about Reichardt guitars, he's an American luthier. Man, you really need to go watch that mm -hmm. video because he's, nice he's so cool. And he breaks down everything on how he does his. And uh, it, it, all of these, we've got a few more lined up, uh, some in Canada, some over across the pond. Uh, we're going to try to get those up here in the next month or so. We'll try to get everybody in there. But thanks so much for watching, and until next time. Stay tuned.